This is Big Sound, Small Town, live from the Green Room at the Earl Scruggs Center in Shelby, North Carolina. Today we have with us Cleveland County singer-songwriter, Del Britton. Well, hello. I'm going to start out with a song that I wrote, the oldest one that I have that I still play, that I wrote when I was 19 years old and in the Navy and homesick. It's called Homecoming. I've been windblown, but I'm going home. Got some friends I want to see in North Carolina. There's a girl back there, at the moment she don't care. Well, I'm going to make her mine if I ever find her. When I say hello, Blue Ridge Mountains, wrap me in your cloudy arms. And hide me on a hillside 20 miles from the nearest farm I'll say goodbye to my sweet dream The dream I never knew Well, I can live without my dreams As long as I have you Well, I'm gonna stop at The next bar I see Buy myself a couple of beers Well, I'll think about A dozen odd friends Maybe shed a couple of homesick tears Well, how many more lonely crossroads And how many willing hearts must I pass Just to make it back to my only home And just how long will my home come and last When I say hello Blue Ridge Mountains Wrap me in your cloudy arms And hide me on a hillside 20 miles from the nearest farm I'll say goodbye to my sweet dream A dream I never knew Well I can live out my dreams long as I have you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so uh, about 30 years ago I read a book by a guy named William Warner called Beautiful Swimmers, and uh, it's about the uh, watermen on the Chesapeake Bay who live on Smith Island, and they uh, catch the crabs, so to speak, and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the old jokes are the best, aren't they? And uh, <laughs> so from that book, I changed it to Tanger Island, which is also in Chesapeake Bay because I had read about uh, Tanger Island, and I just thought that was a cool name. And I also changed uh, crabs to lobster because I needed two syllables. So this is called the waterman. When the sun comes up at 7 a.m. I've been working four hours already. I'm hauling in lobster pots, shivering from the cold. This work ain't easy, but it's steady. It's a bright autumn day on Chesapeake Bay. There's white caps on the brine. The hall's pretty good. There'll be plenty of food on somebody's table tonight. Was raised by my daddy on Tangier Island. And died when I was 15. Brothers and sisters all moved away, but I just couldn't leave. I fell in love with the wind, in love with the ways. The people here are my friends. When I ain't got no money and I'm feeling low down, I go back on the water again. This 
morning when I went out to get in my boat, there was ice clinging to the pier. Soon my cove will be frozen over, I'll be done with the water this year. Then I'll go on home and seal up my door, and I'll build myself a roaring fire. I'll sit at my table and smoke my pipe until old man winter retires. I fell in love with the wind, in love with the ways, the people here are my friends. When I ain't got no money and I'm feeling low down, I go back on the water again. Okay, well, this song is uh, basically my best friend ordered me to write this song. <laughs> His name's Al Bates. He lives up in Michigan. He's a musician, too. And uh, he and I have talked about, you know, playing out and uh, how it is that when you're in your own hometown and uh, people know that you're going to be at such and such a place, the local corn dog stand or whatever, four nights a week, they kind of take you for granted. Don't show up when they should. So um, that's what this song is about. So, and I think he created the title. It's uh, this is called uh, "You Can't Be Famous in Your Own Hometown." You can make it up. You can write it down, but you can't be famous in your own hometown. You can have some friends, a little patch of ground, but you'll never be famous in your own hometown. Well, I've been gone, and I've been around. I've been following the lyric, I've been following the sound. Well, I've made a name and I've some renown, but I'll never be famous in my own hometown. They know my family, and they know my jokes. When they pass me on the street, to them I'm just plain folks. You can make it up, you can write it down, but you'll never be famous in your own hometown. There is a place that I have found where I can take it easy, where I can settle down. And it's to this place that I am bound, but I'll never be famous in my own hometown. They know my family, and they've heard my jokes. When they pass me on the street, to them I'm just plain folks. Well, I made it up, and I wrote it down, but I'll never be famous in my own hometown so uh, about two years ago one Saturday morning I'm sitting at the table over a bowl of Cocoa Krispies which everybody knows is the songwriter's breakfast of choice. And uh, this song came to me so fast that I couldn't write it down as fast as it was coming. I don't know where it came from. It just, one of those that was floating around out there and happened to pop in my mind, I guess. And this is uh, also, it has two genres, which is kind of weird. It's a Starts out as a love song and ends up as a protest song, so that's a new thing I came up with. It's called Alibi. I was not at the 
scene of heartbreak, I have an alibi. I didn't leave you at the altar, I did not say goodbye. I was in another city, I was not in your town. I'm not the one who left you, I did not let you down. Alibi, alibi, I am guilty by omission, but I have an alibi. I didn't show up at the ballot box, and now it is too late. I didn't stand up to be counted, the fools were at the gate. I didn't cry for the children when the bombs were falling down. I didn't look outside my window, see the fields were turning brown. Alibi, alibi, I am guilty by omission, but I have an alibi. My alibi is complacency, I don't know what to say That will heal the broken hearted and make the tears go away When you stand in judgment, well you know you've done the same It's a portrait of a tragedy hung in a crooked frame Alibi, alibi I am guilty by omission, but I have an alibi Alibi, alibi, I am guilty by omission, but I have an alibi. So, uh, this last tune here, I was uh, sitting around. Actually sitting around one day with a Jackson Brown songbook. And I noticed that one of the tunes on there, there in there, a uh, song he does called Before the Deluge was in this uh, D-modal, they call it. Well, that's, what, that's what Neil Young calls it. He says you tune both E strings down to D and then you play like nothing changed, which is not precisely true, but it's pretty close. So. So then I got to thinking, well, what am I going to do with that? And I ended up, I decided that it would be a, uh, a song like about Clint Eastwood type guy, like Pale Rider. He was going to be riding through the plains and he was going to come across some uh, folks in distress and help them out. And, uh, but um, the guy in the song kind of took on his own life in the middle. And that's, this is what, how it ended up. This is called High Ridge. kind of low when I heard the sound of horses in the valley down below so I turned my pony toward the sound soon there did appear and weary travelers and they paused as I drew near well, I approached them slowly and I covered up my gun for I did not want to give them any cause to turn and run. Drawing nearer, I saw movement in the wagon at the rear. The lovely maiden cowered there, trembling in fear. Well, I said hello, no one replied. From the wagon in the rear, I heard a baby cry. The leader of this ragged band sat astride a broken mount. He finally got the courage up to speak and sound me out. He said, we're bound for California, but it seems we've lost our way. Oh, stranger, can you help us? We'd be glad to offer pay. Well, I took one a look at their meager grill. I shot him through the head with a gun hanging off of my hip. I rifle through their wagons and I let their horses run. 
And I left three bodies laying there, rotting in the sun. Now in the lonely two-room cabin, by played out silver mine, she tends a child and wonders what made me cross that line. I guess she could say that I settled down. At least when I take the time to come around. Well, I've been riding on the high ridge, feeling kind of low. If you're traveling through the valley, well, you best look out below. Well, this song uh, goes along with uh, the first song I played, Homecoming, in that they were both written in the Navy. Uh, the second one, I was technically in the Navy, but I was actually physically in the Cleveland County Jail because I was AWOL and had been for, I don't know, four or five months, and they finally caught up with me and uh, put me in the jail to hold me until the Navy came and got me. So I was in there for... Um, 13 days, and that was the longest 13 days of my life. But while I was in there, I wrote this song. I had a couple pieces of paper and a pen, because I guess they didn't think I was gonna stab myself. And uh, I wrote this tune, and the title of it is Dover. It, everybody thinks it's about Dover Mill, but it's not really. I was more thinking about like Dover, New Hampshire or something, but. But it could be Dover Mill, who knows? Uh, anyway, this is called Dover. Sitting back listening to the voices grumbling, beggars and drunkards and poor men mumbling. Thirteen days in a gray barred hell and nobody wants to go my bail. I want to see the sunshine. I want to hear my baby cry. I want to get back and see one more day in Dover Laid up in a boxcar, the stories unfold Hungry tramps talking about a pot of gold I watch the liquor and coffee stains Darken on my shirt, they're touched by the rain I want to see a snowfall I want to hear a robin call I want to get back and see one more day in Dover It's a late night sleeping in a rundown shed Rolled up in a blanket, I'm half past dead Cars rushing by through the wind and the rain Being cold and alone drive me insane I want to take a hot bath I want to hear my lady laugh I want to get back and see one more day in Dover I gotta get back and live one more day 